Hello and welcome to the Logic Minute. In this video, the seventh installment of the LSF family series, we will explain how to use an LSF device for multi-voltage applications. For this video, we have created an example system that needs three different data translation paths. The core processor for this system is a 3.3 volt microcontroller. It needs to communicate with a sensor, an FPGA, and a generic 1.8 volt device. There are three up translation paths, shown here with red arrows. The arrow widths are relative to the voltage at that point in the circuit. There are also three down translation paths, shown here with blue arrows. This system would typically require at least three translators. We will accomplish this multi-voltage translation with a single LSF device. Here is a full schematic for an LSF01 series device, replacing the three mentioned translators in the previous system. The first change we see here from our previous examples is that some of the B side devices have operating voltages higher than the MCU on the A side, and some are lower. Previously we had always kept higher voltages on the B side and lower voltages on the A side, but that was really for keeping the examples simple. In a real system, the LSF doesn't care which side the higher voltage is on, just that the bias threshold voltage is set properly and the pull-up resistors are placed correctly. The bias circuit must be set up as usual, with the B supply being at least 0.8 volts higher than the A supply, a 200 kilo ohm resistor, and a bypass capacitor on the enable pin. The A side supply voltage must be the lowest supply voltage used in the system. In this case, that is 1.2 volts for the FPGA communication. The value of 1.2 volts will be the threshold value that controls the LSF device for all channels. For example, on the 5 volt sensor line, when the B1 input is forced to less than 1.2 volts by the sensor, the LSF device will conduct and allow the sensor to drive the MCU's input low. When the line goes above 1.2 volts, channel 1 will go into high impedance mode, and the resistor RA1 will pull up the A1 line to 3.3 volts, and the MCU will see a high input. If you need a refresher on how this works exactly, please go back to our video on up translation for a detailed explanation. Note also that there are pull-up resistors on every line that operates at a higher voltage than 1.2 volts. This is absolutely necessary in a multi-voltage translation system since the threshold of the LSF is set to 1.2 volts. For example, on the 1.8 volt data line, if the resistor RB3 were removed, any data sent from the MCU would be translated down to 1.2 volts instead of 1.8 volts. If you need a refresher on how this works exactly, please go back to our video on down translation for a detailed explanation. Please click on the links below to jump to the video of interest, and thank you for watching.